Welcome back to Tech Talks. Uh, today, now, I have the pleasure of uh, Mark Essien here of Hotels NG. Hotels NG is an online platform that fulfills um, hotel requests for um, customers. Um, so, Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And um, so, tell us, um, how did um, how did you get this idea for Hotels NG? Um, I've always been into technology. I'm a, I've been a software developer, and I was while I was doing my masters, I thought, you know, like I saw that there was a lot happening in the technology industry, and I was trying to think like what would be a good company to start that would work in technology in Nigeria that could improve some part of the ecosystem. You know, did a bit of research and then stumbled across generally the online travel space. And I found out that in the online travel space, the hotel space was completely underrepresented. So before we started, the, more, the biggest online travel agency had maybe 300 hotels listed. The, the estimates for the number of hotels in Nigeria were just about 2,000. That's what most people thought were there. And we you know, started it, I thought, okay, obviously there are a lot more hotels than this. Went out, started listing hotels, and between then and now, we have found we have already listed 8,000 hotels, you know, and we still estimate that there's another 4,000 that have not been brought online yet. So, um, that, that's great. So, 8,000 hotels, how many rooms? So, on average, the average Nigerian hotel has about 22 rooms. Okay. So, so you multiply 8,000 by 22. So, that's even more than we think. Um, so, um, and that's interesting. Secondly, so in terms of the category of hotels, how would you read them? So, how many, what percentage are one, two, three, four, or five star? You know, in Nigeria, we don't really have the star rating system, and it's difficult to formalize and decide because there's no independent body that's assigning stars. What we generally do is we look at, you know, the luxury hotels, the budget hotels, and the mid-class hotels. And I'd say roughly 65% of all hotels are in the mid-class range, okay. and then the rest are, mm. you know, budget and top range. So you have 8,000 so 8, hotels. How many orders, for, for that, how many people have used your platform to... Um, book and pay for hotel, hotel rooms in the last one year. In the uh, well, I think that's confidential. Oh, yeah, confidential. Okay, so so should I say is it growing? Is it oh, wow. is it is it growing from since 2013? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the our growth has been incredible. So since 2013 till now. Every year, I think we triple in size, you know, so, and we have maintained that consistently over the entire period. So is it mostly individuals or is it organizations or do you have relationships with um, corporate organizations that use your platform? Yeah, so we, we do both of them. We do both corporate and private. Right now, at this point, we're probably 85%, 90% private. Okay. Um, but we have, but of course, it's just because of the scale and of how course. big we are now. At a certain point, we're roughly 50%, where almost half of our revenue was contributed by companies. But now, like, in cost, uh, consumers have exceeded that. Um, we have a lot of large companies, and a, I think the majority of the business travel agencies, the well-known global business travel agencies, we are the fulfillment partner in Nigeria. Even though we don't publicize this, this is probably the first time I've ever said that. Okay, so that's, 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 at least that's a diversified income base. So is there a social aspect of your, of your business? So like, you know, I book online, I book, let's say, I book through your, your platform. I have a terrible experience or a great experience in the hotel. Is there an opportunity for me to give feedback on your, on your platform so that other, others can actually either go to that uh, to help give feedback to the hotels or to help give feedback to customers who are make, trying to make a choice. Yeah, so the, uh, we run a survey recently and the, the, the criteria that people look for the most in hotels is price, but the second one is reviews. Mm -hmm. How is that hotel and so on. So what we do is that obviously anybody can log on the platform. If you have made a booking, you can leave a review. But it's so important that we have reviews that what we do is for everybody that uses our service, afterwards we are going to call you yeah. and we are going to ask for your verbal review. Okay. And then there's a team that sits down, transcribes that verbal review and puts it on the site. Okay. So because it's because we know we kind of created this industry in Nigeria, there are a lot of things we had to do to stimulate it. So till people actually learn that they should be giving reviews or want to give reviews, yeah, we, you have to make it happen. You have to call them. You have to call them. So, so so how, what, do you, what do you see, how do you see the future of the business? Uh, um, because especially now, so for example, now that, that you have an econ economic uh, recession, yeah. how does that impact the business? And so if you're, if you're a mono product um, business, doesn't that have impact your, 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 your top line? 
Um, so there are various strategies. The, the, most, the first thing is this. As the recession grew worse, our business grew better. So the last few months have probably been the best ever. So and the growth has been, you know, quite steep, much better than normal. And that's because people don't have money to travel abroad anymore. Okay. So now they are now traveling locally. Okay. And a lot of that local travel is coming through local travel agencies. Um, of course, but the disadvantage of the forex issues and the other issues we have in Nigeria now is that, you know, we raised external capital in dollars, but now, you know, the entire value of that investment has gone down. Uh, but we are not, we, even though we are only in hotels, we are not very tied into one particular industry because we are diversifying across the continent. Yep. And um, the, the hotels problem, we have solved it in Nigeria now, but it's not solved in many other countries, yes. in Congo and all those places. You don't have, this isn't solved yet. Yep. So what we want to do is build this across the entire continent. Yep. And Africa in whole, as a whole is a growth story. So growth goes across the entire continent, we grow with the continent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, do they have the capacity to fulfill orders for um, people coming into Nigeria? Uh, so, for example, if I'm a, a U.S. citizen and I'm looking for an authentic Nigerian website to actually um, make a recommendation for me to, um, I'm looking for accommodation in Kebi State, for example, and I know that um, you won't find a Hilton in Kebi State. Um, can you fulfill those kind of orders? Yeah, about 25% of our bookings now are from people abroad coming in. Do they pay dollars or do they pay naira? They pay dollars. Ah, no, exactly. <laughs> so, so, you're, so you're one of those industries that generate naira for Nigeria. In your business, it's important to, should I say, support tourism in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So do you have any plans to try to create attraction or awareness uh, for Nigeria? Because the more tourists, I mean, like, when I go to places like Senegal and um, Côte d'Ivoire, a lot of their revenues are generated by, uh, by t t t tourism uh, and hotels. Of course, hotels are the ones that benefit. Yeah. So in, I think three months ago, we launched a new product. It's called Spots.ng. Mm -hmm. And Spots is a listing of all the tourist sites in Nigeria. So right now, I think we have over 4,000. So we, we have sent people out across Nigeria, list different and various really? tourism sites. Yes. And uh, we want to increase that to maybe 10,000 this quarter. And just increasing, uh, we keep on increasing it. The good thing about the platform is that it supports our core business in the sense that if you're looking for a tourist place, probably looking for a hotel close by. You know, so as a standalone product, it would probably not be viable for anybody else. But for us in particular, it has been a great product. And right now, it's already contributing, I think, 30% of our traffic. Okay, I'm just probably going to shoot myself in the foot now. So, but tell me, so in terms of how have, how have banks been in, 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 in supporting your, uh, your business or your, your, your growth story in Nigeria? Um, I mean, we have not had much interaction with okay. banks yet because we are, there's no part of our, of our business now that's really dependent on the bank in any way. Lucky you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say till now, you know, we have been pretty neutral towards banks. We haven't interacted much, neither negatively nor positively. positively. Okay. What are, what are the things that you would like to see that you think would help? And this is from a macro perspective or from an industry perspective, that would improve, should I say, improve your business from a, from a perspective of customers and, and players in the industry? Um, I mean, there's, of course, the general infrastructural challenges in Nigeria. Um, I think improved, I think the biggest single improver would be if more people had internet at a cheaper price, right? I think the internet price is still way too expensive in Nigeria. Um, but so if it were really truly available to everybody, then you would see huge growth in every online business. All right. So uh, any questions for me before we... Um, well, I'll throw back your question. So what can a bank do to support... Oh, uh, plenty. A bank like Diamond Bank, plenty. Yes. Another bank, I don't know about it, but that, that, I will have that discussion as soon as we get off camera. All right. Okay, <laughs> okay. great. All right. Thank you very much for coming on the show. All right. Thank you.